Hey guys, MetaDuck Beats here. Looks like the end is near with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. After the next DLC character, that'll be all. This is going to be the last character. There's not going to be any Pack 3, as far as I know. This is it. This is the end. Now, of course, they're going to surprise us, but... Considering that it came from the voice of God himself... Yeah, I... I doubt it, honestly. So... I'm just gonna say this right now. No matter who makes it in... Doesn't matter who, doesn't matter what genre, what game, or whatever... It doesn't matter. Who makes it in... No matter what, there's got to be a group of people that will be very excited and hyped. And there's got to be an other group of people that are going to be pissed off and salty. It's not a question, it's an inevitability. It doesn't matter. Now... <laughs> I know, I'm stating the obvious, but I honestly feel like this is, like, judging by the conversations I've been in, like, recently, honestly, it kinda made me think that most people don't really take this in account, if you get what I mean. Now, don't get me wrong. I know it's been a running joke at this point that Smash Bros. fans have always been entitled or whatever, but honestly, this really made me realize how true that statement was after the Casio reveal. And I know it was obvious, but I feel like maybe it's because I've been engaging in more conversations ever since the reveal. But, I've been seeing a lot of people just saying some ridiculous shit. And, okay, like I said in the previous video, if you don't have any emotional attachment or any attachment to fighting games, or Kazuya, or Tekken in general, that is completely fine. We're all into different things, we don't have to like everything, and that is completely fine. If you didn't want a Kazuya in Smash Bros, that's completely fine. My main problem comes from the people who are actively being very pessimistic towards others, or even saying death threats, not just to the developers, but to fans, for even being excited or hyped for, well, any character. It doesn't have to be Kazuya, it could be any character. And... This kind of has been frustrating me, in a way. Like, I just kind of wanted to point that out, honestly. I, I will say my full thoughts on this certain subject in a much later video, after every single character has been revealed. So, I will return to the subject in a later day, but I'll be saying that no matter what happens, it ultimately wouldn't matter. People will be hyped, and people will be salty. Whether it'll be like a character like Ryu Hayabusa, even Wawaliji, or fuck, even like the most wanted characters like Crash, or hell, maybe even Dante, even though he's like a me costume recently. Who knows? Like, they're unpredictable. But I'm just saying, no matter who makes it in, yeah, you get the point already. However, I also want to talk about the me costumes, as that has been a hot topic as of late since they were shown in the Kazuya presentation video. Now, this might be an unpopular opinion, but honestly, I think the me costumes do serve as great representation for other series that could not make it in the main roster, if you get what I mean. Or not just, like, characters from series that haven't been represented, even 
characters that are already like have series as being represented but you know having a be costume like for example with Gino or whoever like honestly I don't mind me costumes I think they could be very fun honestly which brings me to the subject of well going back to this Dante and yeah don't get me wrong like, I get why people are disappointed, and you know what, it's their opinion, like I said, I know I keep on saying that, but it's like... It's kinda going back to the same argument of Smash Bros fans, and that is... They can be very entitled. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not the majority as far as my experiences. Because I know people who are at disappointed, but at the same time, not throwing a temper tantrum. But I'm talking about the people that legit take it seriously. Now don't get me wrong, I would have loved Dante and Smash Bros with a more fuller move set. But you know what, if you can't come in, then you know what, a me costume, that's good enough for me! I have the same thoughts with Shantae too. Even though she's my number one, I always wanted her to be a playable character in Smash, but... If she's gotta be a me costume, then she's gotta be a me costume. I can at least say that the series is being represented in a playable way. Though there is an other select section of people who are actually glad about the Mii costume's inclusions. And I don't mean for the reasons that I just stated with why I feel like Mii costumes are beneficial. No, 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 no. There is people who are glad about characters being deconfirmed quote unquote, saying that, oh, I am so glad Dante is dead. dead! So, from what I'm gathering from this, I guess people just thrive on the idea of crushing other people's hopes and dreams just so their character has more of a chance to be playable, I guess? I mean, look, look, I'm just assuming or probably just overthinking things. And of course, I know a lot of it is just trolling, so it's like, whatever with that, but when it comes to people that legit, like, actually take this seriously, it always confuses me. Not really confuses me, but it's more like, it always baffles me, because it just feels so selfish, very mean-spirited. If you don't have any attachment to said character, then that's completely fine. Like I already said, we all have different experiences and interests. However, with Dante in particular, I feel like he mostly gets this reaction. And it's not just because he's a very popular pick for most people. But I think it's also because people are really, really worried about Dante being another Bayonetta. If you get what I mean, like back in the Smash 4 days. Which... Honestly... When people say that... It honestly tells me that people don't have any faith on Sakurai as a game developer. So you're telling me that Sakurai cannot learn from his mistakes? Or you know, improve his craft. I mean, for God's sakes, he nerfed Bayonetta in Smash Ultimate, and you don't see anybody bitching about Bayonetta nowadays. So it's like... What's the problem? I feel like it's just an excuse that people are making up just so they could, you know, spite the people that want Dante and elevate their own character, if you get what I mean. And I always found it to be a very dickish move, at least to me. Again, like, if you don't have any attachment to Devil May Cry or Dante, whatever, but it's like when people just take it too far, that's where I get the problem. That's, that's when I have a problem with this. Though, if you want to know my thoughts, honestly, I don't care who makes it in. I legit don't really care who the last character is. In fact, I'm actually excited who it will be, though I will also be kind of scared about the fan reaction, but for the most part, I'm excited. Like, 
it could be anyone, really. It could be freaking Crash, it could be Spyro, it could be Doom Guy, it could be Ryo Hayabusa. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't care who makes it in, even if it's like freaking Croc or a new Pokemon in Sword and Shield or Glover, whatever. I don't care. Like, that's still fine by me. Like, I'm sure people want those characters in, so you know what? If they make it in, then I'm proud of you. And look, even if it is a character that is not from a game, even admittedly I'm not a fan of the idea, I'm not going to throw a temper tantrum, but oh boy, I will be scared with what that could entail for the future. Though, that's neither here or there. Though, to end this off, I actually do want to give some of my thoughts on what probably might happen. Not what character in particular, but whether there's going to be anything after said character, which, no, I'm not talking about like a past three as I already established. This will most likely be the last character. But I heard rumors or theories about having a bonus character, which... Again, I don't want to keep expectations impossibly high because this might not even happen. Actually, any of these ideas might not even happen, but I was thinking, you know, like, it could be a bonus character or hell, maybe the next set of me costumes could be the most amount of me costumes we'll get as sort of a swan song, you know. But again, like I said, let's keep our expectations realistically on check. If it does happen though, if any of these things I just stated happen, then hey, that's pretty cool. I'll consider that as a bonus, if you know what I mean. But with that being said, that's all I really gotta say. I am Metanux XBeats. I hope everyone is safe out there. I hope everyone has a great day. And I'll see you next time.